Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. Today, we're doing the arrival assignment. And then we'll go to some other mission, potentially, depending on how long this one is. Um, I actually did a shit ton of mining. Um, where can I show it? Let's go to this planet real quick. Just go to the scan. Look at how much shit I got. I have as much upgraded as I can upgrade right now. Some upgrade required you to like, for example, to unlock a new grenade launcher. I need to like get another heavy weapon upgrade. So you need to do upgrades to unlock new upgrades, if that makes sense. But I have all the upgrades I can get for right now. Anyways, there might be a random ass cut. Because one of my family members was being loud and the other one started like yelling upstairs to me. Not at me. To me. You know, because... Anyways, there might be a random cutoff in like the middle of a sentence or something because I just trimmed the video. Uh, I got the improved shock up to four and then... I got the barrier ability because you can get an upgrade which... Essentially... Um... Let's you take one of the abilities that, for example, when we got Tally's um, personal mission done, she gained a bonus ability. But one of the upgrades lets us get that bonus ability. So that's what I did. So I got the bear. Dragon Age armor. I thought it'd be kind of lit, kind of cool, or whatever. <laughs> I like it, it looks dope. I fuck with it. This is the mission that we have to do alone. It makes me a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. And this is the mission that we got from General Hackett, who we helped a lot in the first game, if y'all remember. What the fuck is that? Little creepy crawlies, man. They've seen us. Uh, there's no us, man. It's just me. The Batarians must send their prisoner down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. What did I just do? Oh, that, that set the thing up there? Okay. I was hella confused for a minute. This place is run down, even for a prison. I don't know where we're going. Oh. Pretty interesting area though, I must say. I wanna see what else is down here, quick. Okay, I guess this is the right way, so I'm gonna go the other way. You know, I'm just trying to get as much as I can. Uh oh. What did that do? What? Bro. 
up. I'm like mad confused. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna. Whatever. Gonna continue this way. We're supposed to be like sneaky with it, right? Like that's the whole thing. I don't think we should go out that way because I think that leads right to them, right? Right in front of them. It's just, it's such an open-ended area, though. I have no idea where I'm going, I'm kind of... Literally, I'm kind of just going. Such a weird open-ended area. out of here now. Shepard, I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Go. 
Oof. Ready. I like the beginning part though, like sneaking around. I don't know, I love it when like a game has a mission that kind of breaks up the traditional flow of the game, so like the flow is like traditionally like stealthy. But since it's an infiltration mission, it's kind of how you're like meant to go about it typically. I think it's pretty fucking cool though. We're here. Keep them off me while I hack us away out. Alright. Wait, they switched my whole thing. Bruh, you can't do that to the boy. Hurry up, man. We don't got all damn day. Wait. Oh. I was hoping to okay, I was hoping to send them flying off, but bringing down their orbital tracking network. This armor looks so sick. It's probably my favorite. Watch the other side. Pre-made armor. More enemies on the elevators. There's an elevator that leads up. Almost done. You wanna come up here? I'm ready. I'm taking fire. Okay. Oh, they're breaking through. That did it. Let's move. Okay. Hurry up. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. Here they are. Grabbing cover. Got 
Honestly, I didn't even know what I was doing there. I'm not gonna lie. I was just kind of wandering around doing nothing. That was completely on me though. They keep telling me about skill points, but I literally don't have any. I'm not like, I'm not trying to upgrade my bot. Uh, cryo fucking shit right now. Autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Alpha Reapers can relay. invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. How were you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. What is a Reaper artifact doing on an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. 
Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. If you're working near a reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reapers' proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Yeah, this mission's a lot longer than I thought it'd be. Again, I don't know, this could be a DLC mission as well. Who knows? Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Fog, so they are indoctrinated. Take him down. They 
Eyes, the whole eyes shaft. Why is there so many of them? Do we just have to survive here until dawn? Bro, I swear. I hate these types of missions where it's just like, oh, just chill here for like some time. I don't know if you feel like destroying it. They didn't really make it too close. supposed to do take him to the med bay and patch him up we want Shepard alive but yeah you was trying to kill me But it 
could be a glitch in the system. <sighs> No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! <laughs> Bro, what is this mission? <laughs> I've said this once before, I love missions. Actually, it's literally said this earlier, but I like when missions like change up the um, the base like kind of gameplay. Not much time. I have to get this asteroid moving and get the hell out of here. All right, let's fucking go, man. I didn't go the other way. I might regret that. We've been spotted. Shepard's in the living quarters. See along project control. Long Shepard, now! Peak bitch.
I don't wonder if Admiral Hackett set us up at all. Or if he generally didn't know, because he was only suggest that we go in just one person. That'd be an interesting turn of events. That person who we like help out about the whole first game is like some fucking like after we set us up. Every one more shot. There you go. Give me some med gel, my god. Okay, where are we going? We're going down. Or do we go to that? It looks like we need to go there. Welcome to Project Control. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Fuck. What he did? Project activation in progress. Hmm. Warning. Collision with mass relay is imminent. Begin evacuation procedures. Alert. All colonists living in the Bahak system. This is... Shepard, no! Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An ESO core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. <laughs> 